there's some things that I want to keep in 2024 and out of 2024. So I made a list of it all and I thought I would share with you guys this morning. I'm in my bathroom and it's early in the morning because I want to talk about my first in for 2024 and it is to wake up earlier. And that doesn't necessarily mean like waking up at 6 a.m. every day. For me, that's what I'm going to do. I'm waking up at least an hour earlier than I need to leave the house or at least 30 minutes earlier than I need to leave the house. I just don't want to be rushed in the morning. So waking up earlier is something that I want to try to do. Another reason why I want to wake up earlier is to be able to get my Bible reading in in the morning because that's something that sets up my day for the best and it helps my day just go so much more smoother when I have Jesus at the front of my day. Now I'm going to do my skincare and I have gotten into skincare in 2023 and that's something that I want to keep in 2024. Skincare is something that I didn't take seriously until 2023 and now going into 2024 it is going to be amazing. I'm actually an esthetician student so actually I'm all about skincare. I love helping other people even get help their skin get clear and just to help take care of their skin. So that is something that I'm learning to do and that's something that I want to keep in 2024. And what I want to keep out that goes with that is not washing my face two times a day. I want to wash my face two times a day. Sometimes when I go to sleep, I'm like tired, I'm done, I don't, don't want to wash my face, but I'm going to wash my face anyways. So we're going to wash our face together. Now before I go to the gym, I gotta do something about this hair. I'm probably gonna put it in braids. You ready? I'm ready. I braided my hair. Yay. Now we gotta change it into a workout outfit. Alright, I got this workout set on. I don't know where it's from though. Okay, I really have no idea. My mom got it off of Facebook Marketplace. But you know, it's cute. It's like a long sleeve top. It's cropped and that's the bottoms match, but it's freezing. So I'm going to wear some sweatpants over the bottoms and then I'm going to put some shoes on and I'm ready to go. If you can't tell, working out is another in for 2024. I love working out. I still did that pretty consistently in 2023, but I just want to continue to be consistent with it. I go pretty much three to four times a week if I can with school and with like finals and different things. So different weeks determine different things, but usually I can get there within three to four weeks. So that's my goal in 2024, but that's what I want to keep in. I'm going to get my body moving pretty much every day. Try to walk or walk my dog. And I think my dog is a really big motivation to go on walks because he needs walks. He's such an active dog, such a big dog. I have a golden doodle. And so he's such a big dog and he needs walks and he needs that kind of routine. So good morning, Hash Brown. He will not get out of his cage until I pet him. Alrighty, I'm back from my workout. I did abs and shoulders today. This is my third time working out this week. So proud of myself. Hopefully I'll work out maybe on Saturday. Oh yeah, we're gonna go on a hike tomorrow, which is Saturday. So that'll be my fourth time working out. I count my hiking as working out because it is a definite workout. So very proud of myself this week and I, I just got it all done. Another in for 2023 is my relationship with God. I am a Christian and I have been following God and been a Christ follower for about four years on my own and I've been in church my whole life but I fully dedicated my life to Christ four years ago and this and Jesus means everything to me this faith means everything to me this is my lifeline this is um, how I get through my day this is he is the air I breathe I mean this is my life I mean I love the Lord and he is my first love you know I have a boyfriend I have all these things, but the Lord's my first love. And I have to, to steward my relationship with God. If I want to grow, if I want to be a better person, if I want to be a better Christian, a better daughter, a better girlfriend, a better sister, I, I need to get into this book. I need to learn that this next year, I really want to learn more about the Bible, 
um, deep dive into the word, learn new things that I've never learned before, maybe even learn some new Hebrew words just to get understand the Bible more. I just pray that I would have more wisdom of the word in 2024 and that I would be able to comprehend it even better in 2024. So that is something that has been really, something that I'm really excited to do. Um, also something that I've been doing is memorizing verses in 2024 is that I, what I'm going to keep in and memorizing verses has been something that I started to do in 2023 and I want to continue to do. I have memorized the first about 18 verses, 18 verses in James. So James 1, 1 through 18, I've memorized that. And I want to next memorize Psalms 91 and just go into the different books of the Bible. I've memorized Psalms 23. So I just, I've take my time and just read over and over and over again and I've noticed when I memorize these verses it's been like life verses to me it actually helps me understand the verses better because I'm literally saying the verses out loud all the time so it's it's been really helpful and along with that I have an out so my out is overthinking so I think a lot of times I, especially us women, we will overthink things, decisions, you know, if there's, if there's a, like I said, if either it's a decision or it's a, just emotions get high and everything. So I just think if I ground myself in the word, it'll help me to not overthink. I can trust in the Lord instead of overthinking about what could be. But yeah, so I'm in verse four today. I'm gonna continue reading, do my own Bible study, and then we'll talk about some more in and outs. Alrighty, I'm back from reading my word and all that kind of stuff. And now we're gonna talk about another end that I want to do in 2024, which is to keep my room clean. So I have a habit of, you know, having my room clean and then during the week when I get really busy with school or with work, I forget about it and I leave it to the weekend or leave it until like a week later when I have somebody coming over. So something that I want to really try to, to do is to be consistent in keeping my room clean, like taking 15 minutes a day and cleaning up my room, like taking my, my, my clothes away and doing different things like that that I think I definitely need to do. So today, uh, while I do my makeup, I'm gonna make up first, and then we're gonna clean up. I have a lot of clothes to put away from Christmas, so I thought I'd share with you some things that I got for Christmas as I put away my clothes. So this is my pile of clothes that I got for Christmas, and I thought I would share a couple of my favorite pieces that I got, and as I put, put them away, because I need to put them away, because taking up my whole entire podcast chair thing. One thing that I asked for this year that I absolutely love is sweatpants. I asked for a lot more sweatpants. I wear sweatpants literally all the time because I would rather wear them than any other pants in the life because I hate wearing jeans. I have the ones that I have on and I have these. I also got some green Nike ones as well. Now another thing that I asked for is more sports bras. So I get um, some sports bras that I love from Old Navy because they have a little bit more modest fitting ones that I can just wear as a top and also is a sports bra so they're like they go down past my waist like down so these are really nice and they're longer and I can wear them to the gym which is really cool so I asked I got for this one and then I got a different style it's also black too okay so my favorite things that I got was skirts i have two skirts that are literally amazing i have this this one which is um a cargo skirt cutest thing ever it has a little like slit in the front and it's like cargo side like little pockets and everything and this is from american eagle it's the softest thing i've ever felt in my body i wore it to work and it was so comfortable and i absolutely love this like i will be wearing this all the time thank you Here's the other skirt. I also got a jean skirt. I don't think I've ever owned a jean skirt before, but this is so cute. It has like this little detailing on the side and it is just adorable. It's like a big maxi skirt. Like I would love to wear this with like a crop top or with like, um, I don't know, a tighter t-shirt on top and like a big hoodie or sweatshirt. I don't know, I'm just thinking 
um, just very street style-esque outfits with this, but this is so cute. It's from H&M. Another thing that I got that I absolutely love is my boyfriend, and he got me this jacket from Elevated Faith, and it is like a Leatherman jacket, and it says God of Miracles, and it's like so cute, and I'm ecstatic about it. So I literally wore this yesterday to work, and I love it. Another Jesus merch item that I got, I got it from He Would Love First. It is this really cool sweatshirt. It says, what would Jesus do? He Would Love First. It comes with a vintage sweatshirt. It is so soft and so comfortable, and it's just so cute. It's like kind of oversized, which I love, but yeah. So another thing that I got with my Christmas money, because um, I we get like gift cards from my grandma, I actually got went back to American Eagle, and I got this leather jacket. And it is so lightweight. So you know, sometimes leather jackets are so heavy. This is it. It's really nice, lightweight, and it is just very flattering on. I'm trying to see if you can see it better. But yeah, so I got that. Ow. And now it is clean. Look how beautiful. Nothing's on my podcast couch. So and in, so I'm going to keep my room clean. I'm sure there's going to be some days where I get busy. I'm not going to beat myself up about it, but I really want to keep my room clean and not necessarily just once every couple, every couple days, once every week. Just like every day, try to put away some stuff at a time and I don't know, just try to be a little bit more clean than I am. So, all right, let's get on to the next in and out. It's the next day and we're going to continue on our ins and outs for 2024. I have just wrote some more down that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, I shared with you guys the basic ones, working out, reading my Bible, you know, being consistent and not overthinking. Another thing that I, that I want to continue to do, I want to meal prep this year. I don't think I've ever really done that before. Um, I live at home, so it's kind of easier just to obviously you know, eat with my parents eat, but as I'm going to school, it'd be nice if I had some meals prepped to take to school. So I'm gonna start cooking more this year. And another thing that I wanna do is I would love to support local coffee shops over Starbucks. I love Starbucks, it's an interesting company. I would love to support local coffee shops rather than Starbucks, it is a little bit cheaper. <laughs> and um, it's a little bit less convenient because I feel like Starbucks is so convenient. You can get the drive through it's so easy. But then we're going to a, a coffee shop. I have to go inside and it, it helps me not spend my money so frivolously. Okay, I'm going to do my makeup. I got this new makeup bag and it's really cool. Watch this. So it's like this. And when you open it, it opens like this. So cool. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna tell you about something that my mom started to do this year and that I'm going to actually continue and do with her. And it is declarations. So instead of doing big goals or resolutions, my mom decided to do declarations. And I thought that was such a unique idea and I just loved it. And I thought, well, why don't I make my own? So with every in and in for the year, I made a declaration that went along with it. So, I'm gonna share this with you while I put my makeup on. So the first one is I will be consistent in the gym. And next one is I will take care of my skin. I will study the Bible in the mornings. I will learn how to meal prep and cook. I will not spend my money frivolously. I will make coffee at home more. <laughs> I will not leave my room dirty. I will not gossip or participate in gossip. I will seek others' needs before mine. I will wake up earlier to read the Bible. I will memorize more scripture. I will not allow negative thoughts to stay. I will be productive. I will be consistent with posting on YouTube. <laughs> I will pray before I post. I will seek the Holy Spirit's guidance before every decision. I will be available for the Holy Spirit to use. That is my I will statements. Make your own this year. I think this is something that, even if you're watching this in 2024, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post this in, Janu in the first week of January. But these declarations, I feel like I'm more able to accomplish it because I said, I'm going to do this. I will do this. And it's not like a um, resolution 
but it's a declaration and it's something that I have prayed about. I've prayed about these all these things because it's something that I personally want to grow in and God wants to grow in me. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I will end this vlog. I finished my makeup and now it is time to end the video. I am so thankful that you guys joined me on this little journey of me telling you my ins and outs for 2024. Comment down below what are your ins and outs for 2024 if you have some declarations that you want to speak over your life this year. I'm so excited to just be able to share with you guys my life on social media because it's fun and also because I love to just encourage you guys and your faith. That's the biggest thing. That this Bible that we read is alive and that Jesus is our savior and he loves each and every one of you guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see y'all next week for the next vlog. Okay, bye friends.